Right now in Stone Mountain, DeKalb police are investigating a scary burglary that was caught on camera. All that's left of a child's room uh, now that thieves stole thousands of dollars worth of electronics. A Fox Eyes Alex Whitler spoke to the victim and shows us that video. Alex? Yeah, Russ and Courtney, that woman is a single mother of an eight-year-old. Thankfully, she and her son were at work in school at the time of the burglary, but you've just got to take a look at this video. She watched it in real time as two men broke into her apartment here on Northland's end in Stone Mountain. This was Tuesday around noon. They appear to have guns in the video. Her home surveillance camera alerted her of movement in the house, which she says is normally just her cats running all over the place. But this time she watched as men ransacked her son's room, stealing thousands of dollars worth of items. Everything out of his room was gone and like his bed was moved and the dressers was moved. What a value was there? Are we talking finances? Like Xbox? fi like Xboxes, like my son's a gamer. So he had the Xbox, the PlayStation, a VR headset, like all the stuff he got for Christmas this year, just gone. How about how much money would you say that is? Like 5K worth of electronics. <laughs> Now take another look at this video. It shows men both on the inside and outside of the apartment as they quietly enter and appear to load a gun. I wasn't planning on going to work that day. I have lupus. I usually stay home, but I sleep on my couch most nights. So I'm like, they came in with guns and they were pointing directly at the couch. I was very concerned. Now that woman says she's staying with a friend now as she works to get out of her lease despite having just signed it a couple of weeks ago. DeKalb police say they are investigating a burglary at this apartment complex, but if you know anything about who the men in that video might be, you're encouraged to give them an anonymous phone call. Reporting in Stone Mountain, Alex Whitler, Fox 5 News. All right, Alex, thanks.